Hi guys, it's Miss Shauna. I thought I would read one more story and this time I chose Diary of a Fly. It is by Doreen Cronin, pictures by Harry Bliss. June 7th, tomorrow is the first day of school. I'm so nervous. What if I'm the only one who eats regurgitated food? Look how tiny. June 8th, great news. Everyone eats regurgitated food. June 10th, things they teach you in flight class. We are the most accomplished flyers on the planet. Our average speed is 4.5 miles per hour and leap backwards when taking off. Things they should teach you in flight class. Always have a flight plan. June 12th. My parents left us with a babysitter last night. When they got home, 87 of us were stuck to a strip of fly paper. Mom says we were a lot easier to watch before we grew heads. June 14th, today we practiced landing on moving targets. I'm standing on her head right now. June 15th, my school picture came out terrible. Mom says next time I better have all my eyes looking in the same direction. June 17th, my first science assignment is to use my five senses to observe something creepy. I chose a first grader. Disgusting. His observation says, see, I will not fit in jar. I feel sticky, smell, not so good, hear, annoying slurping sound, and taste, not so bad. Why do you think the kindergartner tasted good to the fly? It's awful sticky and probably sugary. June 18th, worm and spider came over today. We used a magnifying glass to take a really good look at ourselves. Man, we're filthy. See all the things they could see on themselves? Yogurt, ice cream, root beer. No idea what that is. Dirt, more dirt, still more dirt. Orange peel, cabbage, dust with milk, and Nat juice. See? Spider fly is with his friends, spider and worm. July 2nd. I'm making an all about me book for my mom. All about me by fly. My life day one. First day as an egg. Day two, first day as a maggot. Day seven, first day with a head. Day 10, first day of school. Whoo, they grow up fast. July 13, I asked my mom why I can't have my own room like worm. Because you have 327 brothers and sisters, that's why. I told her we could put half of them in the garage to save space. I'm having a time out in the garage right now. July 14th. Spider's grandfather is so smart. He taught me flies were a very important part of the food chain. Very cool. Hmm. I think that grandpa spider might want to eat the fly. July 15th. Worm sat me down and explained the food chain. That is not so cool. July 16th. 
July 16th. The babysitter came back last night. She brought a frog. When mom and dad got home, we were all exactly where we were when they left. They had to be good so the frog didn't eat them. July 21st. Why I would make a good superhero. I have the most powerful flight muscles on the planet. I can land upside down. I can see in all directions at once. Spider said, superheroes bend steel with their bare hands. You eat horse manure with your feet. I never thought about it that way. July 22nd. Today I learned that flies beat their wings 200 times per second. No wonder I keep falling asleep in math. July 23rd. I visited my Aunt Rita today. She's been trapped on the wrong side of a screen for a week. My word, how you've grown, dear. August 1st. I just know I would make an excellent superhero. I have 4,000 lenses in one eye. I can walk on walls. I can change directions in flight faster than the blink of a human eye. Spider said, superheroes save the world from outer space villains. Your brain is the size of a sesame seed. I never thought about it that way. August 2nd. Today I told Worm and Spider that I could never be a superhero like I wanted. Worm looked me right in the eyes and said, the world needs all kinds of heroes. Spider said, I never thought about it that way. Neither did I, said Fly. The end. Here's her picture book. Thanks for watching. See you next time.